Richard, I know Ringstar Sports is, is already making waves in boxing, uh, but you guys are still new. Uh, boxing isn't always open to new promoters, but you, you have Eddie Hearn. He seems to want to come over to the U.S. He just had a big signing, Dan and Jacobs. Um, what, what, what was your take on, on Eddie Hearn's uh, coming over here, the U.S. invasion or whatnot? Well, you know, uh, I wish him all the best. Uh, I, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, 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 to England as well. I'm promoting events in England. And, you know, if Eddie feels like he wants to be in the U.S. market, then, then so be it. You know, I mean, good luck to him. Uh, you know, I, uh, what I, and I, I, I have nothing bad to say about Eddie Hearns. I mean, the only thing is, you know, as, you know he did some videos where he made fun of, of whether my accent or of African-American people's accent and so on. So I think, you know, if you want to come with that uh, British, uh, British humor or that sort of like kind of humor here to the U.S., you've got to be a bit careful, especially if you start poking fun, because people could certainly poke a lot of fun on him as well. Yeah. And uh, that's not really our style, but I guess that's Eddie Hearns' style. And if his fighters like that, then, you know, so be it. But uh, uh, he's not really my cup of tea. And if he, if he, uh, to put it in British terms, because they do like tea. Um, uh, but if you, if he feels like the way to build uh, Daniel Jacobs into a crossover superstar is to take him to, to Long Island, then you know, I'm sure he knows what he's doing. Um, what can you forewarn him and just the obstacles you have to come, overcome as a promoter in the U.S.? There's a lot of competition. There's premier boxing champions, Golden Boy promotions, top rank promotions. That's just going to come in here and take over. You're going to take a lot of hard work. Well, but I think he realizes that and he actually said that. But, you know, I mean, you've got to sort of like look at the U.K. market as well. Uh, I mean, what has he really done? I mean, he got the Sky deal because of his father. Um, and he, uh, he, you know, he's done a decent job, you know, but the one guy he really built uh, into, you know, he always saw this great, he's doing all these big shows and so on, is really Anthony Joshua. And my, uh, my uh, hundred year old grandmother could probably promote Anthony Joshua because frankly, Anthony Joshua is charismatic for those who have met him speaks extremely well has Olympic gold medal and he can fight and he's exciting and so if, if you can't do that then you know you shouldn't really be in the promotion business but short of that you know it's not that he has like reinvented the the, the, the wheel I personally think that Frank Warren who's another promoter in the UK is a substantially more accomplished promoter and has done a far better job in building up fighters and giving giving exposure to, to the fighters and I don't have I don't have, I don't really have, you know, a relationship with either one. So I'm just saying the way it is. I think in the UK, the best promoter is uh, Frank Warren.